Alexa. Today is Tuesday, November 19th, and, and here, here are your morning, morning announcements. The KCRA Canned Food Drive ends this Friday. Remember to bring some cans to your first period class. Kona Ice is this Friday, so bring $5 to get a nice treat, and also there is no school next week, so don't show up. Art and Information Night is on Thursday. It's from 8.30 to 8 p.m., 6.30 to 8 p.m. Be sure to come. The Lost and Found is overflowing. All items in the Lost and Found are going to be donated Thursday. So if you think any of your items are there, please check it out before they are gone. Panthers, interested in yourself, helping yourself and other Arden students get cheaper meals? Please complete the simple nutrition services meal application. You can pick up an application in the office or go to mealapps.sam1.edu. Mr. Lyon will give you five Warbucks if you submit the completed form to the office. Panther Learning Academy is in room 10, Monday and Wednesday, 245 to 345. Please be accountable and responsible and bring all of your materials. Remember, Panther Learning Academy starts promptly at 245. Please be respectful and on time. Do not get a tardy. You have to be in class, seated with all materials when the bell rings. Students must walk bikes and scooters on the asphalt and remember to wear helmets. Blankets are not allowed on campus. Blankets are not items of clothing, so students cannot bring them to school, wear them, or walk around wrapped in one. No phones or earbuds in any hallways ever. Phones are only allowed during lunch in the lunch areas. We have Science Olympiad today after school at 2.50 to 3.40, Heredity in room 15 with Mary Quinn, and Food Science in room 7 with Ms. Chow Han. 3.50 to 4.40, we have Machines in room 8 with Mr. Lenahan, and Density Lab in room 7 with Mr. Martinez. We also have clubs. Minecraft Club in room 11 with Lenore at lunch. Stephen Universe Club also at lunch in room 6 with Mr. A. And Gaming Club after school in room 8 with Mr. Lake. K-Pop Club at lunch in Portable E. I think that's it for today, Arden. Peace out, Panthers! I'm a forensic artist worked for the San Jose Police Department from 1995 to 2011. I showed up to a place I'd never been and there was a guy with a drafting board. We couldn't see them, they couldn't see us. Tell me about your hair. I didn't know what he was doing, but then I could tell after several questions that he was drawing me. Tell me about your chin. It kind of protrudes a little bit, hmm. especially when I smile. Your jaw? My mom told me I had a big jaw. What would be your most prominent feature? I kind of have a fat, rounder face. The older I've gotten, the more freckles I've gotten. I would say I have a pretty big forehead. Once I get a sketch, I say thank you very much, and then they leave. I don't see them. All I had been told before the sketch was to get friendly with this other woman, Chloe. Today I'm going to ask you some questions about uh, a person you met earlier, and I'm going to ask you some general questions about their face. She was thin, so you could see her cheekbones. And her chin, it was a nice, thin chin. She had nice eyes. They lit up when she spoke. Cute nose. She had blue eyes, very nice blue eyes. So here we are. Mm -hmm. This is the sketch that you helped me create. And that's a sketch that somebody described of you. So yeah, that's... She looks closed off and fatter, looks sadder too. Mm -hmm. The second one looks more open, friendly, and happy. Mm -hmm. I should be more grateful of my natural beauty. It impacts the choices and the friends that we make, the jobs we apply for, how we treat our children. It impacts everything. It couldn't be more critical to your happiness. Do you think you're more beautiful than you say? Yeah. Yeah. We spend a lot of time as women analyzing and trying to fix the things that aren't quite right. And we should spend more time appreciating the things that we do like. <laughs>